Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back today. And it looks like we're going to be talking about uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and a lot of the stupid stuff she has been saying and doing um, for Do the Kiwi Farms and, well, her being swatted for, I guess, the second time. Before I lay into this, I don't. I have. I like a lot of the things that she's done, and I would say yes, she is trying to vote for protecting children, which I 100% agree on. But there are some things that this woman absolutely says, which is disgusting and stupid, and it just goes to show that women are always going to be women, and they're going to go directly and start uh, trying to ban a form of free speech. Um, so yeah, well, usually the six things are is that women will be. The first ones to go for free speech are the are the highest demographic of, of people that will go for a type of a restriction of speech. So she is also playing into these type of traits here and going for pre, for speech, and that's what I have a problem with with Major Taylor Green. I agree with her some of her some things that she has said, but other things she's a complete idiot on, and then also wants to go and completely start removing the First Amendment and there's all the other type of crap that I don't really agree with. So this is going to be a flaming up to Major Taylor Green video, and also, you know, kind of feeling some kind of sympathy for her because of the swatting. But I digress. It's uh, not usually the greatest type of thing, but we all have to do what we do, got to do, right? Let's go on to the article. Major Taylor Green claims she was swatted again last night. Republican uh, Georgia Major Taylor Green has been swatted again, she said. The Friar Brand representative took her took to her Twitter to say she was swatted again last night. And, and so it got last night. And as we can see here, she was obviously said she said swatted again. And, and it came after Rep. Green has responded with additional information regarding the swatting incident early Wednesday morning at her home in Jerome, Georgia. In a Twitter post that contained a link to a local report about the incident, Green quoted a police report regarding the incident, which is apparently still under investigation by the local police department. 911 received a call from the suspect claiming responsibility for the incident and explaining his or her motives. They explained they were upset about Ms. Green's stance on transgender youth rights and said they were trying to swat her, he said. Which is what she said, and then she goes on to say that last night I was I was swatted just at one a.m. I can't express enough credit to my local law enforcement here in Rome, Floyd County. What do you tell us to come? And it's also free from August twenty fourth, and then you can see this one here is from August twenty fifth, when she was also swatted again immediately, uh, or, or within you know the next twenty four hours. Uh, goes on to say, Northwest Georgia knows noted, according to a Rome Police Department re report, police officers responded to a 9-11 call on Wednesday at 1 or 3 a.m. that led to the initially believe a man who had been shot more than once was in the bathtub of Green's home. The caller also stated that there was a woman inside the home and possibly children with her. When officer arrived, Green assured them there was no issue at the home. After we cleared the call and went back in service, Rome, Rome Floyd 911 received a call from the suspect claiming responsibility for the incident and explaining his or her motives. Did the police report according to the local outlet it was a computer generated voice they explained they were upset about miss g green's stance on treasure youth rights and stated they were trying to swat her in addition the police report said that, her, that the caller claimed to be linked to a website that authorities may support cyber stalking the caller also gave officers their user name on the site northwest georgia news added there have been a couple of other swatting calls for of the sort recently, said the Floyd County Police Department Assistant Chief from uh, Tom, Tom Ewing, but this was the first at Green's residence. The other calls came from overseas numbers, from overseas numbers, uh, Ewing said, and those numbers have been masked or reroded through other numbers, a process called spoofing, said the local news report. In a Wednesday morning tweet, Green, a staunch ally of former President Donald Trump, thanked local police while adding the added that she would provide additional information to at a later date, according to the UK's, UK's Daily Mail. Last night, I was swatted just after 1 a.m. I can't express enough gratitude to my local law enforcement, blah, 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 Because we already read that. After that incident, the resident spoke to a charity clerk and explained how she was fortunate to not have responded with a gun. I'm a Second Amendment supporter, and I believe in defending myself, and I normally don't answer the door with a gun, especially if it's someone I don't expect to expect coming to my home, she said. In a statement to Daily.com, Green's office confirmed that a political attack on her took place at her home. Daily Mail added, 
Green had led GOP criticism of federal law enforcement in recent weeks, ever since the FBI's announced, unannounced search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago's estate in Florida. In the early hours of August 8th, the FBI executed a search warrant on the, Palm, Palm, on the Palm Beach mansion, an operation linked to the classified documents sought by the National Archives. Trump's allies like Green and a GOP conference chair rep, Elise Stinkfenek, Required the raid as a weaponization of the Justice Department and have demanded consequences for Attorney General Merrick Garland and FBI Chris, direct, Director Christopher Way. Right now, Congresswoman Green's safety is our number one concern. Green's spokesperson Nick Dyer said on Wednesday last night she was a victim of a political attack on her family at home. Whoever committed this crime at will face the full extent of the law. Which I would also agree because I think that uh, um, Swatting, I, swatting is, I may believe, a felony, and I think any type of uh, USA doxing should be illegal because I have seen too much evil come out of doxing and not really anything positive. I guess I again, I'm always open to discussion about that or you know, any discussion for the matter because I, I because I kind of want to see the uh, what kind of people's opinions are on that. I, my personal opinion is I think it should be illegal. I don't really see an issue to why uh, any, any reason to keep it. It just seems like it's been used for more nefarious reasons than actual good reasons. I mean, people could say the same thing like, well, what about guns? Because guns are, are, are used for more nefarious reasons. And I'll be like, well, that's incorrect. Yes, there are people that use it for nefarious reasons, obviously. And that's going to be for anything. But the thing, what I'm saying is that the most majority of the time, guns are not used for nefarious reasons or for to kill people. It's used more for protection or hunting. Whereas doxing, I have not really seen it be used in a positive light whatsoever or have really seen a real reason to defend that said positive uh that that right rather and i don't really see a, an amendment really allowing this type of thing to happen granted this is under a new type of law or uh type of modern day type stuff kind of like the internet so uh we would have to kind of see a in exactly what it would be taking place but i don't think this should be allowed but there's also things like this that are my my that Marjorie Taylor Greene has came out and said, and I really just do not agree with that. Uh, agree with it. Before we get into that video, though, I want to address my opinions. Is that I do not agree with her getting swatted for any other specific reason. I think it's stupid. I, I honestly think it's dumb. However, the things that she said on at Fox News and the things that she completely started to advocate for, I am 100% against, and I really makes me want to doubt to vote for her at all if she's going to start playing this route. Let's take a look at the clip. That he or she is connected to this website, which is a site that actually supports cyber stalking. The suspect even gave police their username. Uh, so basically, as you pointed out, this is a, a suspect admitted to intending to do harm via uh, cyber stalking, you said you fully want to, uh, you know, prosecute whomever did this. And I'm assuming that suspect is still at large, right? Yes, there's an investigation underway and there's an even, even investigation into whether that's really the person that did this. Mm. Um, but it is, isn't it concerning that such a website exists? Like, why does that even exist? Mm -hmm. That, that website needs to be taken down. There should be no business or, or any kind of service where you can target your enemy. That's absolutely absurd. And this is the type of lawlessness that Democrats want all over the country. You know, the Democrats are the party of defund the police, which is which has created crime that is going out of control all over the country. But it's, it's also failure of, of our government and failure of our law enforcement to not take down a website like that. Like all of these types of groups need to be completely eradicated. Okay. And as we can see here, we're seeing her really try to destroy the First Amendment. Let's take a look at exactly what the First Amendment is and see what, what it really pertains to uh, everything that it, that it says, right? So what I'm going to do here is that we're going to look at it, and it says exactly like this. The First Amendment provides that Congress make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or prohibiting its free exercise. A paradise freedom of speech, the press, assembly, and the right to petition the government for a, re for a redress of grievances. So we are allowed, Taylor Green to... Uh, do fucking anything, create anything, and form anything as long as it is not the uh, the uh, the ability to you know exploit children or to commit actual literal crimes. We are allowed to do this, and 
Um, there's also liability clauses and all this other stuff that we have underway that will uh, pertain to a lot of the things that would be happening within, you know, obviously the uh, to uh, to the company. Um, I don't usually use a lot of Kiwi Farms, but I will say that Kiwi Farms, there's a whole bunch of multiple people, and the person that you are trying to advocate for, the person that you don't like, by the way, is Keffels. And Keffels is the type of person that advocates for uh, trans, forcing people to chase a trans, transition uh, and stuff without their parents knowing, which they're actively against. So you're being a fool and actively trying to side with this person and get rid of Kiwi Farms, despite the fact knowing that they're trying to get rid of the First Amendment. I don't know why women have to automatically just go to this type of BS and want something immediately banned because this attack when it's targeting them. Listen, you're acting exactly like the Democrats. You're right about the Democrats trying to do all that stuff that you said, right? But they're also the ones that are trying to censor and remove things that they don't like. You don't like this because it targeted you or you specifically, so now you want it removed. That's why. And that is against the First Amendment, and that is against everything that we stand for as America. Why don't you go fuck yourself, and how about you stand back, go look at the stuff that is, that's coming by, and, uh, oh, I don't know, read. Don't stop listening to your people that constantly be feeding you fucking information and look at the actual version at hand. Why don't you go follow the creator law? Why don't you go follow any of the independent creators that actually know what's going on and try to give some more actual information going on about? Because you're going, you're, you're attacking a company that potentially you don't know anything about, and you're only going off the basis of one tiny thing when you need to do actual investigative research. You're advocating for destruction or destroy of websites that target certain people because, you know, freedom of speech. Alright? It's absolutely ridiculous. Knock this shit off. I am sick and tired of politicians constantly doing this. It is beyond disgusting, and I'm sick and tired of it. And honestly, uh... As long as you fucking put in that bill and you make your usefulness, why don't you just fucking go away? Because at this point, you're just being stupid. And I, I am tired of it. The reason why I'm going after you is because I want my politicians to be better. I want the people that I advocate to be better. And right now, you're being an idiot. And you're trying to remove the First Amendment right. Regardless of whether you're a Republican or not, I think the actions that you have said and done are stupid. And this one is also a very stupid one. Wake up. And start doing your fucking job by not eradicating things that you don't deem fit. Go fuck yourself. That's it for the video, guys. Like, like subscribe, share, and as always, keep it coming.